Hello the internet, I'm Gav. Thank you for joining me in this big empty void. This video is sponsored by Google One. Google One is a subscription from Google that gives you more cloud storage to use across Google Drive, Google Photos, and Gmail. So in order for Google One to help us make this video, I'm actually gonna be having someone else edit it, and I'm gonna upload all of the footage from right here in the studio using a little 5G base station. And that means while I'm sweeping up at the end, hopefully my editor is already well on the way to downloading the footage. Here's a little bit of me uploading yesterday's time lapses. Behind me on the floor, you may have noticed that someone has come out and set about a thousand mouse traps. Unfortunately, that someone was me. It took me about seven hours yesterday. Had some close calls. What I'm going to do is put powder paint on each mousetrap, trying very carefully not to set them off, different rows of colors, so that when I set one off, we should get a glorious chain reaction of mousetraps hurtling up into the air, kicking paint all over the place for a lovely slow-mo shot. Unfortunately, due to the fact we don't really like to waste stuff on this channel, these mousetraps are old. They were used in the trampoline video. <laughs> because of that, They've been sat in a bucket for about three years. Some of them seem to be one use. Some sort of don't really function. And some have rusted beyond all recognition. So I'm just very nervous, to be honest. I'm just going to continue now, finish setting them up, and just get to it. I cannot describe how nerve-wracking this is. I feel like the further into this that I get, the shakier and more mistakes I'm making. <laughs> I've only got, what, like 12 more to place here, and then I'm going to stop. But it is nerve-wracking. So as I mentioned in the intro, some of them, the spring has snapped. Some of them, the arm is bent. Some of them, the wood shattered on the first use. One of them was burned. I'm not sure how that one happened. Another trick I've learned is to face away from the completed area, because sometimes when you're bending it back to set it, it will just shoot out of your hands, straight forwards. It's not what you want. I believe I have now set more mouse traps than most humans. Um, only those in pest control can give me a run for my money, I think. I also might be up there in um, most mouse traps purchased with absolutely no intention of trapping a mouse. It's much harder than doing it on the trampoline because on the trampoline we didn't have to worry about proximity. They didn't actually have to be touching because we knew that the bounce of the trampoline would set them all off. This one, they'll, they'll only get set off if one lands on them, so we're really just hoping for... <sighs> that is the eighth time I've snapped my finger. All right, let's do one more, and then we're done. Okay, that's all I'm doing. Let's call it a thousand. It probably isn't a thousand. It's, it might be way less than that. I know I bought a thousand, and most of them have been used. Let's call it 900. Okay, before I put all the color on, I'm just gonna do a quick test to see if it can indeed handle a little splodge of color. Okay. Seems as though we can be quite violent with it. I won't be, but it's good to know. I am shaking like a leaf. Interestingly, I didn't have to buy anything for this video. It was all stuff I already had left over from various videos throughout the years. So if it doesn't work, we've only wasted money on all the lights in the studio. <laughs> would be a very inconvenient time for an earthquake. But it is 2020. <gasps> okay, the bag ripped, almost dropped a full bag on the side of the mouse traps there. Also paying close attention to my lab coat flaps. 
Funnily enough, I spend most of my time not wearing a lab coat, so I do have to be aware. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to attempt here on the smaller pieces just to push them up into position. I haven't actually thought about how I'm going to trigger them yet. I think I'm just going to chuck a couple of mouse traps on the back rows. I hope that that's enough. I feel like there'd be a lot of people wanting just to skip to the slow mo on this one, but for those of you who stuck with me, keeping me company on this little journey, I appreciate you. Oh, here we go. Okay, this is it. Yeah, I'm just going to grab a handful of mouse traps and chuck them on the back. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Going to run around there, hit the button. <laughs> Absolutely terrifying. I hope I didn't run in front of one of the cameras. I don't know. I didn't know what I was doing there. The aftermath. Seems like most of them went off. There's a little section here that didn't. And most of them, I think, did. I can't believe it. Oh, I think I'm going to struggle to do the outro without a stupid grin on my face after that. I'm just so relieved it worked. There's so much time and effort riding on that going right. Like if it partially went off or I had to sort of re... Oh, I can't even imagine. I'm so, I'm so relieved. Hopefully you enjoyed that footage, especially if you're able to watch it on a 4K TV or something like that. I'm very excited to get it back to a bigger screen and give it a look myself. Big thanks to Google One for sponsoring this video. Every Google account comes with 15 gigabytes of free storage, but sooner or later you will run out and have to delete things. So if you're sharing files with family members, 
the best option is just to upgrade the storage. Google One is a paid membership rooted in cloud storage with plans starting from $1.99 for 100 gigabytes, going all the way up to two terabytes of online storage. You can also use some Google One features for free, like the storage manager, which helps you easily find and delete large files that's taking up your cloud storage space. I love it not only because I frequently have to upload giant 4K raw phantom files, but also because it's so well integrated with Gmail, which I use for keeping in touch with family and friends and coworkers. It's very seamless. It's a service that I've used for many years. I rely on it, in fact, whenever we're doing large projects. There's often various versions of videos to go up and review and lots of phantom footage to upload. And the larger storage options have really helped me out and prevented me from having to meet up with people in real life <laughs> delivering hard drives. So that's a plus for me. If you think Google One would be useful to you, make sure you download the Google One app or go to one.google.com to explore the various features and plans that you can get. There's a link in the description below. Thank you very much for sticking with me through that video. That was quite the process, but hopefully you liked the footage. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Time to get cleaning. Oh dear. Where do you, where do you even start with something like this? Oh, forgot about them. <laughs> I think less went off than I thought. <laughs> Big thanks to Google One for sponsoring this video.